cloud integration has multiple capabilities tailored to different use cases and user personas. This video is focused on the Integrate capability, which is a model-driven integration experience based on Eclipse, which is ideal for integration specialists working on mission-critical integrations or complex data transformations. Now I will show you how to deploy an Integrate or BusinessWorks application in TIPCO Cloud Integration and how to manage it throughout its lifecycle. In the TIPCO Cloud Integration dashboard, you can download the latest version of TIPCO Business Studio by navigating to the Environment and Tools section and selecting the download file for your operating system. In order to save time, I have already downloaded the Business Studio for BusinessWorks. And I have developed a BusinessWorks application named Trip Status API which has the REST service to fetch trip-related details like PNR, date of journey, source, destination, and other details. Let me quickly generate the EAR of my application so that it can be stored in my local archive and deploy it in TCI. To deploy the app in TCI, you simply have to click on the Create Import tab and select the capability you want to use. Let's select BusinessWorks. After clicking Create Import App, you may either use the Upload option to upload deployable artifacts, or you can simply drag and drop your EAR file. Let me browse for my EAR file. We now also support Maven deployment with TIPCO Cloud Integration to deploy BusinessWorks applications directly. With the support of this Maven plugin, there is no need to upload EAR or manifest JSON files for our BusinessWorks applications. As the application is pushed to TIPCO Cloud, the application is pushed in the stop state by default. You can start the application by scaling it to the desired number of instances. This allows you to update the application name and configuration, BW engine properties, or attach TCI Cloud Hybrid Agent, or configure third-party connections via VPN or hybrid connectivity. Let me give my application an appropriate name and scale it to change the status. As you can see, now my app is running. Now I will take you through the various tabs that help you to manage the application in the TIPCO Cloud Integration Dashboard. Under the Apps view, the first tab is the Process tab, which lists process diagrams of all processes, sub-processes of your application, along with REST and SOAP reference bindings. Under the Endpoints tab, you can view all the endpoints exposed via your application. If it is a REST API endpoint, you can use the inbuilt Swagger tester to test the API. Let us quickly test our service by hitting this Git method. Click on Try it out. On clicking Execute, it gives me the correct output. Here, as you can see, you have received all of the trip-related details like PNR, origin name, origin code, destination name, and code, and other details. If it is a SOAP API, you can copy the endpoint and testing it using the SOAP UI on your machine. Under the Monitoring tab, you can monitor the processes on an instance level basis. You select the instance from this drop down button to monitor each instance running on your application. You can also use the search bar to search for a specific process name. This tab provides us the process and activity instrumentation data to see how many activities successfully completed the transaction or have faulted along with activity execution time and elapsed time. Under the Resource Metrics tab, you can view CPU and memory stats of the application container instance. Under Executions, you can view a graph highlighting successful and faulted executions of the respective application instance. Under the Environment Controls tab, you can configure environment variables from the engine variable section like setting up a CPU and memory threshold alert or adding a custom engine variable. Then you can push the update to the application. VPN connections and hybrid connectivity help you connect to third-party services like JMS or JDBC with your BusinessWorks application deployed in TIPCO Cloud Integration. Under the Logs tab, you can view logs in two formats, table and raw, with a range of filters allowing you to filter on the basis of time or log level. You can also download the logs using the download button on the top right-hand corner. 
The History tab captures audit event data for your application, such as scaling up or down of your apps or renaming the app. It also captures the username of the individual making changes to the application. Coming back to the app page, you can also use this tiny drop down button on the right hand corner called App Peak View, which gives you a quick glance of your application stats, including job execution count and CPU and memory usage from the last 24 hours. Finally, under the TIBCO Cloud Integration Marketplace tab, you can find all Integrate plugins, as well as TIBCO Cloud Integration's entire portfolio of pre-built integration solutions, including connectors, accelerators, and templates. You can use the various filters on the right-hand side to help you find the right connector. For more information, please refer to the Help Center for access to our product documentation, the trial toolkit, the TIBCO community, and support. Thank you.